Let's talk about what a magnetic dipole moment is and demonstrate some tangible ways it can be seen. This video is part of a larger story over on our blog page, so be sure to click the link in the description to read more about it. The magnetic moment of a permanent magnet is a way of describing how much torque the magnet feels when it's placed in a magnetic field. The most common example is a magnetic compass. The balanced needle is actually a permanent magnet. It feels a torque that rotates it to align with the ambient magnetic field. That's Earth's magnetic field in this case. If the compass were placed in a different magnetic field, that needle would swing and try to align with it. Of course, we don't need a compass to see this. We can see the same effect with any magnet that's set so it can freely rotate with these tiny forces. A small disk magnet set on its edge does the same thing, rotating to try and align with the Earth's magnetic field. To be thorough, for a magnet sitting here on my desk on planet Earth, the magnet is always feeling this torque, trying to align it with the ambient magnetic field. When it's laying flat though, this torque is much too weak to overcome gravity and lift it up. Let's look at another way this force shows up. Consider a diametrically magnetized magnet like this ring. It's magnetized across the diameter so the poles are on the edge. When we roll this magnet across a flat surface, it seems to wobble. What's going on here? Here in Pennsylvania, the Earth's ambient magnetic field points north but also largely downward, at an angle of about 62 degrees down. As the magnet rolls along, it feels a torque, represented by the pink arrow, that tries to align it with pointing down at that same angle. It's such a weak force, so the magnet doesn't snap to it, but it does speed up and slow down a little bit. As it's rolling, the torque changes depending on the rotation of the magnet. There's zero torque when the fields are aligned, and the most torque when they're not. You can see this effect in this field simulation. The green arrow shows where the North Pole is on the magnet. When we roll an axially magnetized magnet in the same way, it doesn't wobble at all. In fact, this serves as a nice baseline to compare to. An axially magnetized magnet rolls smoothly at a constant speed, while a diametrically magnetized magnet speeds up and slows down. If you listen closely, you can really hear the difference in the sound of the roll. Again, be sure to check out the full story over on our blog page. The link is in the description.